Hello, welcome back. Today I have something very exciting to share, which is the Sylvanian family's camper van. This is the old style camper van, um, which I believe was released in 2012. Um, it's very difficult to get hold of, but it is my favorite of all of the um, camper vans and caravans and sort of that kind of things, those kinds of things <laughs> um, that they have released. Um, because it looks like a VW camper. Um, I was lucky enough that my sister found this um, in a charity shop. She saw it in the window of a charity shop and went in, had a look inside, said it all looked good, asked me over the phone if I wanted it and I said, oh, of course I do. <laughs> um, so yeah, here we are. And I am absolutely delighted that A, it was in its box and B, from my first sort of look at everything, I believe everything's in there. There's a couple of things, as you'll see when we open it up, that aren't the best, um, but maybe I can work on. Like a couple of the stickers are folded um, and that kind of thing, but maybe we can sort that out. First, let me show you around the box. So this is the front. Um, and this is another thing I like about it, how they, they, uh, they sleep up here. I think that's quite cool. And this space down here is actually really usable because it's got the door that opens up and the roof that opens up. And then you've got the side view here. I really like the um, the canoe and the bike, but they obviously are sold separately. Um, I'm not sure where you can get the bike now on its own, to be honest. Um, and here is um, the back of the box, which shows the camper van towing the caravan, which is interesting. I think that's quite cool. Um, so perhaps if you had a bigger family, they could go on holiday like that. Um, the camper van with the seaside restaurant, that is still available actually. I think they sell this on the Sylvanian family's website and they did have it on offer the last time I checked. Um, and the treehouse log cabin as well. Um, so yeah, just a few different scenes on there of it all set up with different bits. And then around the other side, we have got some more pictures um, of just how it all goes together inside there. I really like this table. Um, I love the little kitchen area. I just think it's really good. So given that this was in a charity shop and it was all in its box, I'm chuffed. So let's get it out and have a look. I'm going to show you as well how I... Um, I sort of clean things up like secondhand things. So this is the first um, first secondhand Sylvanian item that I've bought since I've got back into collecting. So hopefully this could be the start of a good thing. <laughs> um, it just shows you on the flap there how to put the map together and the book, both of which I believe are actually in here. So let's get in and have a look. So it still has this bit of cardboard, which is great. Um, and then the van here, I lift that out. And if you can see in there, it just sort of sits in, I'm not sure what's rattling around. There might be something in there. A small piece, maybe, has got lost. Let's have a look. Ah, it's a knife. From the, uh, there we go. I'll keep that. I'm going to put that over here so we can see how it all should go together. Let's just pop that over there. And that's what was rattling around. Uh, just a teeny little knife. So I'll pop that there. So on first looks, it really is in good condition. I mean, it's a bit dusty, um, as you could probably expect. It's a good few years old. Um, you can see on the top there, it's a bit dusty, a little bit grubby. Um, but from what I can tell, it looks to be in good condition. Now, I don't know if this is meant to be white um, or this sort of creamy colour. So, to me, it looks like it should be cream. But on the, um, on the box here, it looks white. I don't know. But I like it, um, even if it has got a little bit of sun damage or something. So the roof opens up like that, and then you've got the two fold down beds up here. They go down like that. And then this door opens out, 
Um, that's what I meant about the sticker as well. I'll show you a bit closer in a moment. Um, and these doors actually open out as well. So it's really accessible. Um, I know a lot of the sort of transport items are quite difficult to get in and play. Um, so this is really good. So let's have a look at what else we've got in here. Let me bring the camera around slightly. That's the most I can tilt the camera down. So hopefully you can see um, everything here. I'll show it that way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get everything out and then we'll see what we're working with. So we've got a ladder. Um, this is like the, the rack that goes on the back. Rack that goes on the back, that rhymes. Um, the chair and the table that folds out. I like that. That's really good. Um, we've got the two sleeping bags and they've got little padded uh, pillows in them. We've got a chopping board, another chopping board, a loaf of bread, a little basket, a frying pan, another pan, a big pot that says flour on it with a lid. It goes like that. And then we've also got the other one. What have we got in here? It's sort of falling down a bit. Oh. Just one of these little, what's that? That's like um, when you're baking and you dust flour, it's one of those little things. Uh, a little uh, kettle that sits on the stove. And then all the little bits and pieces are just in these drawers here. So in there we've literally got tiny little pieces like that. That's the lid for the kettle, I think. Might be, might not be. I won't put it on there until I find out. Um, some cups. I think that's even a little, yeah, a little tiny soap. I'm not sure how well that, that probably won't focus, but it's a little soap. Um, another little pot. Um, another pot that says salt on it. A little teaspoon. Pop those down. And then in here, wow, we've got a couple of plates, the map of Sylvania, that's so cute. Oh, and it actually opens up as well, look, like a proper map. Love that, wow, there we go. And also a little crossword puzzle book. Um, it's not been folded together very well, which is a shame, but um, at least it's there, you know, all the pieces are there. Um, what looks like a fried breakfast, another cup, and then we've got another drawer down here that has, wow, a sponge, some oven mitts. So whoever holidays in this uh, caravan clearly likes their baking. Um, some sort of spatula type thing a larger knife, we've got a um, little thing that sits on the table. Is that drafts, that game, drafts? Or is it called checkers? I'm not sure, <laughs> one of those anyway. A little tea towel on the side here, if you can see. Got a little clock up on the wall, a little sink here. Um, and then this bit actually opens up to become the hob. So that's really good. I love it. It's so detailed. And also, um, if you can see here, there's a little hole. That looks like a chair back. That slides out. Um, and then that's another chair. Or um, I suppose it could also be a bed. Let me grab a Sylvanian. So actually, yeah, could they sleep on that? Probably you could sleep a child on there, perhaps not an adult. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with it, to be honest. And it's in really good condition for, you know, it was in a charity shop. Um, probably hasn't been out or played with in a number of years. I love that all these doors open. I think that's great. Um, oh, there's a couple of pieces down. Hold on. Just down in the driver's sort of footwell. Oh, I don't know if you can actually see. In there, <laughs> there's a teapot. Oh, there we go. A teapot, which is probably what this lid's for. Yeah. Teapot. 
and something else under there as well. I'm tempted to shake it upside down actually. Let's see if that works. Come on. No, it's not coming. I think it's the air freshener that sits on the uh, the front here. If you can see, I saw it in a picture. Ah, oh, here. So if you look there, they've got like a little uh, air freshener dangling from the window. I think that's what that is in here. But because it's like paper, I can't quite get my chubby finger in there. Oh, here we go. Come on. No. Come on. Oh my God. Is it coming? Oh, there we go. Wow, okay. My hand is too big to get in there very well. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, that's very dusty. Ew. <laughs> it is a little air freshener. It says fresh on it and it's got a strawberry on it. And that just sticks. I think it is literally a sticker that sticks up there. So I'm not, I'm not too fussed really about that um going in there but like i said i love how this opens the only one issue that i have with it is this sticker here can you see how that's ripped i might be able to tape it um i also don't really like that they're not very well stuck in um but i've looked online and it's very difficult to actually find replacements for these replacement stickers I could buy a whole new door, um, but I saw that on eBay for about £20, and that's half the price I paid for the actual caravan itself, So um, the camper van itself, so I'm not going to uh, do that. I'll show you it all set up in a bit, but firstly what I'll do is I will show you how I clean it out. Um, so I'm just going to move everything out of the way, show you how I give it a quick clean up, um, and then I will show you in more detail. Right, I've moved all of the sort of fabric and paper pieces out of the way because I'm not going to obviously clean those. Um, but for things like these drawers, don't know if you can see they're a bit sort of grubby inside and like just these plastic pieces, I'm gonna give them a little wipe over and just wash them down slightly. Obviously this is secondhand um, and with the world as it is right now, you know, it's worth giving things a little clean. Um, but of course, we wanna be delicate with stuff. We don't wanna ruin anything. Um, so this is what I normally do. So I'll just sweep that out of the way. And I have got here a bowl of water with, it's just sort of hand hot water um, with a bit of fairy washing up liquid in there. What I'll do is I will just pop in and just use my finger to sort of wash it around. This would just take off the layer of dust and any sort of grubby bits that are on there. Give it a little rinse around. And then I've got a, like a microfibery cloth just to dry everything off with. Just make sure that everything is thoroughly dry um, before you obviously put it back in. Also, this just freshens things up a little bit as well. So. That's it, that's all I'm gonna do. Um, I would always say double check what you're using to wash things with. You need it to be obviously quite mild. Um, you don't wanna go washing things with like bleach or anything excessive like that because you're gonna ruin it. Um, and the reason that these things last so long is because they are made well, but they're not made obviously for use with harsh chemicals. So just use either a, a soap, like a hand soap or um, you know, a, a washing up liquid, like a fairy liquid or something. So I'll do that with all these bits and pieces. Um, all of the, whoops, I just splashed water over. All of the little bits and bobs I'll pop in there. And then I'll show you what I do with the actual interior and exterior of the van. I had to do this with um, my older pieces that I picked up from my dad's house. Um, because they've been kept in a box for like years, they're obviously a bit dusty, a little bit old, um, a bit uh, less than fresh, shall we say. Um, so this is what I did and it just worked well. So you can use one of these sorts of cloths, like a microfiber cloth, just dip it in some warm water, a little bit of soap on there, 
And for example, with this, it's a bit grubby back there. So I'm just gonna give it a little wipe. That's literally it. Obviously you can go over it a bit more if it needs it. Um, you can use, I also have like a mild um, disinfectant spray. I use this one. Um, you can use that if there's any particularly sort of grubby areas, but this has been kept really well. It's literally just dust we're dealing with. I haven't seen any muck or, you know, like grubby fingerprints or anything like that. So it's been kept really nice. Just make sure as well to clean underneath because um, there's little holes and things that dust can go in. Give it a little tap out like that. Give that a little wipe over. With this, it's obviously got a sticker on it, so I'm just gonna very gently wipe over that and then just make sure it's very dry as well. Clean underneath. And just wanna show as well how this actually goes in because you can move it around so it can sit there. It doesn't click into place, which I thought was unusual, um, but there are little grooves on the floor here for you to sit it in. So it will go like that, or it can also go like that. And I think it can also go, I might be wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. So it can go like that, or it can go like that. And when it's like that, you can pull that one out as well. You have two hands for that. And then you can obviously, the whole family can sit around the table and um, bring that out to a uh, four. That's really good. So I'm gonna get to work with cleaning this up and then I will show you um, around and I hope it comes up well. There's one bit in particular that I'm looking forward to cleaning. I'll show you up close. Apologies for the squeaky tripod. Look at the state of that sink. Don't know if you can see very well. Oh, there we go. The sink is full of dust. So yeah, I'm gonna clean this up and I will show you how it goes in a minute. Here we are. I've set it all up. Um, I'll show you from the front here. I've just used the Marguerite Rabbit family in there just to show you. Mother has just got some bread out of the oven. Um, I've cleaned it all up. Look at that sink, it's glistening. Um, I've popped the beds up there as well. And I've just put the basket over here with the sponge and the soap in it. And if I shut the door, Cleaned up all of the outside as well, and I put the rack on the back. It just hooks on um, like that. So as and when I get a bike, I will put it on. <laughs> uh, there was two bits I couldn't fit in, um, and they're just there. If I take these off, I can shut it. And these just fold up like that. And I can shut that lid down. Move it around the other side. Um, I put the, what's this, ladder <laughs> on the outside here, but you can also put it on the inside. Um, it clips into these holes if you see on the box there. So you can do that. There's plenty of room up here for obviously luggage or um, you know, like the, the canoe boat or anything like that. And then turn it to the front. You can see the number plate says holiday um, with the I as a one and the A as a four. It's the same on the back. There it is. Um, so yeah, overall I'm really, really happy with it. Um, as I was cleaning it up, there were no scuff marks or anything. Um, it was literally just a little bit dusty. There's a small, very, very small mark on here on this. Uh, bed. I don't actually know what that is. I might be able to get it off with um, a bit of that, um, what was it, what's it called? Disinfectant spray, that's the one. Um, I might be able to get that off, so I'll give that another go over. 
but generally it's cleaned up really, really well. And I do actually think that this is meant to be cream because it is cream all on the inside. Um, and if it was obviously like sun damage, then the, the top and the inside wouldn't be the same color. Um, and also if you look on the box here, those beds clearly look white against that cream, um, which is obviously what they look like here. Um, I love that, that you can tuck the little um, map and stuff in the door pocket. And I just love that these doors open. I love all of these doors opening. It's really accessible. Um, I love that. And um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. The one piece I think is missing is, oh, sorry, <laughs> the lid of the uh, teapot that's on the stove there. And I think that that's probably all that's missing. Aside from that, um, we've done really, really well there. So I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I hope you liked seeing this um, as much as I enjoyed getting it and putting it together. So thank you for watching. Um, I'll give you one last look around. And you can peek through there and see her baking the bread. I love it. Um, my plan is to set this up with the other sort of camping gear and have a little camping area. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.